At this point in the electronics, you should have the uh, motherboard uh, installed on the machine. The motherboard is connecting to all of the stepping motor drivers. The stepping motor drivers are all connected to the actual motors. The stepping, uh, the extruder is installed and the extruder is connected to the, the motherboard. The stepping motor driver is connected to the motherboard. The uh, stepping motor for the extruder is connected to the um, stepping motor driver. You have the heaters, the heater connected to the um, extruder, and you have the thermocouple uh, connected to the extruder controller. Now we're going to uh, we're going to put the power supply connectors onto each of these components. You will have to um, add the main power supply connector to the motherboard and all of the um, components such as the extruder controller all of the stepping motor drivers will get a connection to the to the power supply the first connector we're going to be putting uh, putting on is the connector to the motherboard and this is the like a, a standard motherboard connector for a pc and make sure the um, the connector is oriented where the tab meets this little ramp here and you can't go you can't put it in the other way anyway now we need to connect the rest of the components and you can see that we have the power supply we've already hooked it up to the motherboard and we got a whole mess of wires here there's a lot of wires that just you know just kind of hanging around so we need to figure out how to get these this power to these two drivers to the extruder driver and to the um, extruder controller to make life easier well it doesn't look like it's easier because i have a bunch of wires on the table um, the MakerBot uh, kit actually comes with some of these, um, these Y-Splitter um, connectors. But I bought also some extra ones, some really long, uh, long cables or the long wires that could be extended. And they're probably fine to use, uh, but I'm probably going to wire the stuff myself. Um, and I'm just going to be, I'm just going to try to do it uh, the neatest way possible. So I have a bunch of these things, which are connectors and wire and i also have some of the crimps that go in here so now i can make my own and try to get this uh, machine wired up uh, in the neatest way possible but don't be afraid to just get extensions um, uh, and try to wire it with the existing ones i'm going to do this just to show you how to do it um, in a neater way so the first ones i need to connect the power to are these two things and I'm, i want to still stay away from the signal wires and i'm going to try to run them up um, in the back here in the in the back of this area and i'll probably still take advantage of this um, this wire tie but i'll probably also use a wire tie uh, below but i also want to make sure that i'm not going to get in the way of the table so i'll take one of these wires and i'll just use this cut the end off and <clears throat> solder on some wires here so i can run this throughout the machine uh, we have two blacks a yellow and a red and i'll just use the same color color scheme as they're using So before I start soldering on another wire, I'm going to need to know how long this wire needs to be. I guess I could keep it on the, on the spool, but it's going to be hard to manage that way. So it will probably start here somewhere because this part can reach. The wire is probably going to start here, so um, you know, since this can reach there, it'll go up to this location in the back. Then it'll go to the first driver, so about here, and then the next driver will just loop.
To attempt to keep it as far away from the table as possible and as far away from these, the, the power wires, I'm going to go ahead and put a wire tie here and route these through this wire tie. And you should probably have the power supply in a location that will be um, somewhat permanent so you know how much wire there's going to be needed. And I'm going to bring it back, but I'm going to tie this pretty tight now. Okay. I can still do a little bit of wiggling, tighten it a little bit, yeah, I can still do some and then I'm going to take it in the back here and bring the wires on the other side here. I want to make sure that this is on this side since the, the back will be taking up right here, It'll be taking up this area here so it has to wrap around and go in the back this way. <clears throat> now I'm going to measure how much I need to to leave uh, to be able to plug it into the to the stepping motor driver. And I'll probably use this to jump from this location to this location. Now I'll crimp the um, the ends onto each of the the wires so I can plug it into the into the connector on the board. Now I'm going to take uh, some wire to jump from one one uh, connector to the other. So we're just going to put these two wires inside of uh, one one connector or one uh, one crimping connector. Now take your connector and make sure it's oriented <clears throat> in the direction that you want to check the wire colors on an existing one. So it looks like this is the orientation and it should be number one yellow, two, three is black, and number four is red. Let's go ahead and just insert them. Number one is yellow, number two and three is black, and number four is red. Okay, they're all in. Now we can plug this one into the uh, the board and see how long we need to have these wires. So we're going to take the wire plug, just plug it in here, just temporary purposes, and I guess this would be probably long enough. So I'm just going to cut it there, and now we can we can now we can put a connector on this side. Yeah. Can you know I keep the bottle up there? 
No. Why? Because I'm working. But uh, I need help. I can't reach it. It's too high. I'm sorry, Kiki. Right Please. now. Hold on. Let me Please. just wait a moment, okay? okay? You have to have some patience. You're not gonna do it. I will in a moment. But you have to have patience, okay? From this connector, once we get this connector on, we'll also need to take the wire and bring it um, underneath and out to the front of the of the machine since you have we have two two more boards over here that we need to connect the uh, the power supply to. So we're gonna have to get um, some rather long um, long wire to get it all the way around there. So we'll start measuring that now and we'll, we'll do it with one wire then the remaining wire should be of the same size at least to get to the first one. So we'll start with let's just say the red. And just bring it around. I'll give it a little bit more length just in case. So now I just um, cut the other wires at the same length as the red. Uh, one yellow, two black, and uh, obviously one red. And now we're going to strip these and use the uh, crimp pins um, and connect them to the existing wires we just stripped. Uh, then we'll run it to the front of the machine. That one didn't work too well. I may just solder them together. Okay, just like the other one, um, yellow will go to one. And if you do make a mistake, you can always take them out. There's these little tabs here on each side. You can just depress in and the pins will come out. So I went ahead and wired the, um, the power wires through this, through this wire tie. And now I'm going to connect it just to see if I have enough room. Yeah. Okay, these are connected. Now I can route these underneath and follow the motor wires. Okay, so now we have tied it up the wires and it's underneath and it's going to follow the motor wires and we'll just wire tie them together. To jump from the um, extruder controller to the stepping motor driver. I'm just going to use one of these that I cut off. Should be enough room here if I cut it off right at the end.
And red is number four. Let's see if I have enough room. Yeah. This is number one. Okay, so to review what has been done, the uh, motherboard is, is, the power supply is plugged into the motherboard with this larger connector here. The power supply, another lead from the power, uh, another set of leads from the power supply goes to the back and it connects to these, to the two, um, to the two stepping drivers in the, in the back here. And then it routes itself around with these motor wires and it connects to the extruder controller on the front and the stepping motor driver in the front.